So what you see on the screen on the left hand side is a touch OSC, open sound control uh, application preloaded on an iPad. What it does, it allows me to control an, uh, a servo, which is on the right hand side. Uh, it's being controlled through a Arduino board, which is being programmed in uh, Grasshopper using Firefly. So let's test it out. So as I'm, as I'm adjusting the uh, the values in the touch OSC, you can see the servo turning on the right hand side. Um, in the later part of this video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to program Firefly uh, to get this thing to work and I will set up your uh, touch OSC app. So let's jump over uh, to Grasshopper. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up uh, your Grasshopper uh, Firefly uh, sketch. So let's go to Firefly and uh, what we're using is a touch OSC application is basically a radio, radio transmitting it's using the Wi-Fi network uh, that I have set up in my house uh, to send data um, and Firefly actually has an OSC listener component which basically is capable of receiving that uh, that data streaming from a uh, from iPad um, for the OSC listener to work uh, there's Two, uh, two inputs that need to be set up. First one is port, second one is the reset button, which basically is a toggle on off. Uh, but for a port, we need to specify a number, which will be a slider. Uh, to find out which ports are actually available, I'll go and drop in the ports available component. And if you go to params panel, connect the two, it'll give you a list. In my case, it's just one port and it's port nine. So if you double click and just type in 9, it will bring up a number slider. It's sort of a shortcut for it. And if you connect the two, now you specify that the listener is looking for our port 9, uh, the serial communication port 9. Uh, now we need a toggle. Boolean toggle, which will turn it on or off. And um, also if we hook up a timer, and if you right click on the timer, send the interval to 20, 20 milliseconds and actually change it to 1. So it's 1 millisecond. So now what happens is that the timer actually refreshes the OSC listener every 1 millisecond. And if we toggle it true, drop in the panel connect the output, um, you should be able to see the input from an iPad Touch. Um, it's showing right away just because I have the application running on my iPad right now and it's actually streaming signal so uh, don't get discouraged if you don't get anything over here. I'll go over how to set up Touch OSC on iPad in a second but this is basically uh, what you will be getting. Um, and if I'm, if I'm changing right now, I'm changing uh, I'm actually controlling the iPad touch OS here. I'm changing the values and they automatically update. Um, once we have that, um, next step is to get that this data to control a server from the Arduino. So what we need is a, a write panel. I'm using an Arduino Uno so we we can use an uh, Uno Write panel. Uh, this one needs a toggle as well. You hook it up to start. Um, it also needs to have a port specified and it needs to be exactly the same port. And if you toggle it true, now my servo, uh, my servo is hooked up to digital pin 9. Uh, it's this pin over here and if you right click on that uh, you can actually change it to servo so now it's uh, it's set up automatically uh, so that it receive if it receives numbers through uh, 0 through 180 it will set the servo to uh, to give an angle um, as you can see the way the data comes through the OSC listener um, it has two fields uh, so it's basically a list uh, the first list is the name, and the second, second item on the list is, uh, is the value. 
associated with that. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, grab a list, list item, and if we connect that list, and we can see the item is one. So if you type in one, it will bring up numbers later one. Basically, we're calling out this value from the list. Um, and also, I want to convert that to integer. So let's connect that and plug it into digital pin, uh, digital pin nine. So right now, uh, this value is being sent through, converted to integer. So 118.4081 is actually 118, and it's being sent to digital pin nine. Um, one more thing that we need is on the Firefly, we actually need to turn uh, turn the Arduino on. So again, it needs a, it needs a toggle. We need a port number. And this basically turns the Arduino on and it sets it to port 9. Uh, so there it is. This is our setup for the Firefly. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up our, uh, how to connect our server properly to Arduino and how to set up TouchOS C. Alright, let's uh, open up TouchOS C editor. Uh, this should be the default window that pops up. Um, Let's change it to an iPad. Um, I'm using an iPad. Uh, you can you can set it up for iPhone as well. Um, the horizontal direction is the one that I was using. Um, first thing you want to do is right click uh, and drop in a rotary. Um, not horizontal, actually a rotary uh, vertical. And if you turn on the grid, you can kind of can see how big it is. Um, so if you click on the on the component that you just dropped in, um, it has a name. It's called Rotary. Rotary two. I usually just call it um, Servo, since uh, so we're gonna be controlling a servo. Servo. Um, you want to set the value range from zero to one eighty. Um, this just uh, flips to which way it, it starts or, uh, or ends. Um, you want to check the no, roll, no rollover and keep the values absolute. Um, you can also right click and bring in a label. Actually, again, label vertical. And if you click on the label, you can change the size of the text and have it say servo. And if you check the outline, there you have it. So this is a basic setup for uh, for the touch OSD. This is your basic layout. And in order to get this thing to work, you have to hit, you have to uh, basically save as uh, somewhere on the desktop, and then you'll hit, I'll actually turn off the grid, just for the visual clearance. Uh, you'll hit sync, and now we need to go to our iPads, and, uh, and while this is syncing, it's basically making this layout available, and I will show you how to uh, upload it uh, to your iPad. So let's open up our TouchOSC app on an iPad. The very first, uh, the very first field under connections is an OSC setup. Let's open that up. Let's set our uh, uh, enabled to on. Let's toggle that on. Our host is an IP address of the PC that the Arduino is connected to. We have to type that in and set the outgoing port. In my case, it's going to port 9, and it, it has to match the uh, port that Arduino is uh, working with. The incoming port and uh, local IP address are set automatically, and it's not something they have to worry about at this point. 
Now if we go to back to our main window and go to layouts, you want to hit add to manually add a host. Now you can go add it in the top right corner and manually type in the IP address of the host computer to populate the layout fields. Um, and you should start seeing the layout here, the one that you've saved. Um, now under options, you can go in there and uh, toggle on the scale iPhone layouts and stay connected. You want to toggle those two on. Uh, once you do that, hit done, and this window should pop up with the uh, with our setup. It's ready to go. Now the last thing that we're gonna set up is um, this hookup to, of the servo to our Arduino board. Um, I'm in the fritzing. Um, it's basically a simple graphical uh, software that allows you to represent your uh, your wiring, your circuitry on the board. Um, so what you see here is a servo. The servo usually has three cables coming out of it. Uh, yellow represents data, red is a power and black is usually a ground so it's a plus and minus. Um, so basically you want to connect the black cable uh, black cable coming out of servo to ground in our Arduino. Uh, so that's a minus and then the 5 volt uh, red cable needs to be connected to 5 volt that's a plus and then the yellow cable which is the data cable uh, will go into a digital input uh, 9. Again, this is the final application of work. Uh, you can see I can uh, control the servo by uh, changing the values on TouchOS on our iPad. Um, if you have any questions, you can download any of the files, um, see the code, uh, just visit my website. Um, I should have it posted to my blog.